Guys, I'm literally doing the most to try and keep my tripod up because I got a ring light for on top of my phone. I don't think it's doing much, honestly. It doesn't work on the tripod I have and it's making it very top heavy, so it keeps like falling forward and backwards. So hopefully I got it to stay. Hey, what's up you guys? It's Jessie and welcome back to the channel and welcome to another introduction video for a project pan. I'm currently doing two eyeshadow panning projects. I'm doing the pan those eyeshadows as well as the A to Z project pan, but I could not resist once I saw everybody uploading this particular project. I was like, wait, I need to do that. So I'm adding a third project into my repertoire. This project is more of a little bit of everything beauty related. There are some skincare items, some hair care items, of course, makeup. If you couldn't already tell from the title of this video, I am diving into the Deck of Panning project. This was created by Emily here on YouTube. I will link her channel down below and she got the inspiration from somebody in the book space also on YouTube. I'm not sure who the original creator was, but Emily adapted it to work better for the beauty community. So I will link both of those creators down in the description below, but let's go ahead and jump into the video. I'm not going to go through all of the nitty gritty of the rules and stuff of this project, but essentially you're just going to need a deck of cards. I have my pink and purple ones because obviously I'm me and can't have anything unless it's pink or purple. And then you also need the game board, which I will include a screenshot of here so you can see what the game board looks like this month. The game board itself switches up every month. It is completely randomized through the magical Excel editing stuff that I don't know how to do. I'm not sure if it's only these prompts that are gonna be just cycled through or if there's additional prompts and it's gonna choose from a larger list. I'm actually not sure, but I'm sure Emily will explain that all in her intro video in case you wanna check that out. But what we're gonna do is we're basically going to shuffle these cards um, because it is currently in numerical order. And then I'm going to randomly pick five cards and we are going to go ahead and see what prompts I pulled based off of the game board and then pick out some products to work on. I'm so impressed by people that play poker right now because I am struggling. If you could see how badly my shuffling game is. And Antonio's not here, so I can't even ask him to shuffle the cards for me. So strong, independent young woman things. The last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and do just one final split, and then we're gonna go ahead and pick the top five cards. So first up, we have the King of Diamonds. And according to the game board, King of Diamonds is an affordable product. I definitely think I could do that. I have some ideas. The next card we have is the Nine of Diamonds. Nine of Diamonds is Pick your space. I'm very excited about that one. Next card, third card, we have nine of spades. Nine of spades is a highlight. Okay, guys, I already have things picked out for these. I was like kind of envisioning products that I would wanna use. Love that for me. Next card, we have the four of clubs. Four of clubs is a baked item. I actually don't know if I have any baked items, so we'll have to see. And then the last card, the three of spades is a spray. Perfect, guys. I couldn't ask for better prompts. So let me go ahead, pull out the products, and then I'll tell you guys what my goal for each thing is going to be. I just went through my collection briefly. There were a couple items that I already had an idea that I might have wanted to pull for this project and the prompts did work for some of those items. So those were pretty easy. So let's go ahead and start with the first card I pulled, which was an affordable item. I have a Super Shock Cheek Blush right here in the shade Count Me In. This is by ColourPop. I've had this in my Shop My Stash, I think since I started my Shop My Stash series and I would really like to finish off this blush. My goal was to finish it at the end of last year, but I kind of put off to the back burner and forgot about it with all the new fancy stuff that came out but I would like to eventually finish this. I know this one might not happen in a month but I do feel pretty confident that I could make a pretty big dent in it and have it out by spring at least. So my goal for this one will be to finish it. I did pick some easier ones for some of the other prompts, but I wanted a couple more long haul items as well. The second prompt I pulled was the choose your own space prompt. And for that, I decided to choose the prompt hit a new pan. And for the hit a new pan prompt, I chose my Naked Cherry by Urban Decay. 
and I have decided to try and hit pan. I'm trying to like scoot over so you can see it. I've decided I want to hit a new pan in caution right here. I already have two pans. I have one in hotspot and in bing. So I'd really like to hit a pan in caution as well. I do have a pretty big dip so I'm hoping that I could have a pan in this by next update but if not it'll definitely be in the next two updates. So I'm hoping that this one will be a pretty easy one to work through. I feel like I can pull it into both warm neutral and cool tone neutral looks. So I'm hoping that this one will be a pretty easy one to work through. Prompt number three, we pulled a highlighter. And for the highlighter prompt, I'm working out of my Fenty Kilowatt highlighter. This is in the duo Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal. This was actually a gift from an ex-boyfriend like three years, four years ago, five years ago. When was 2017? Oh my gosh, this was from five years ago, guys. I know what some of y'all will say about expired makeup, but honestly, if my skin doesn't have a reaction to it, because my skin is really sensitive, then I'm gonna keep using it. But I have a pan in the lightning dust side. I think that's the lightning dust side. I don't know, it's kind of confusing because it's like upside down on the back. But my goal is going to be to hit an additional pan in the other side that does not have pan. I want both sides to have a pan. So another long haul goal, but this one I'm gonna try and hit pan on the more glittery side and maybe even deepen up the pan in the not so glittery side, but definitely want to hit pan in the glittery side. Prompt number four was a baked item, and I went through my drawers. As far as I'm aware, I do not own any baked products, so I went with the second best thing. Kind of gives a baked feel. This is the Mineralized Blush by MAC in the shade Sweet Enough, so it kind of gives off like baked vibes, so I'm just gonna go with it. I'm just gonna go with this one because I don't have any baked items. I'm not a huge baked formulation girl. I don't really like the baked formulas. I used to have a couple actual baked blushes, but I've since decluttered them all. So this is the closest thing I have to a baked product. My overall goal for this one is to use it 20 times. I think I could fit that in in a month. If I combine these two blushes, I'm pretty sure I could work through them pretty quick. This used to be my all-time favorite blush. I used it every day. It's definitely starting to be a little more flat. You can't really see the bubble anymore. I still got a long way to go if I want to pan this. So my goal for now is just to use it 20 times and see where that gets us, but I'm pretty sure I'll be able to knock that one out before the next update. And last but not least, prompt number five is a spray. So I'm going with the Hourglass Veil Setting Spray. If I'm being completely honest, I hate this setting spray. I thought it was gonna be really good. I heard a lot of people really liked the Hourglass Powder and when Hourglass came to Ulta, I decided to splurge. I'm pretty sure this setting spray was more expensive than any other setting spray I've purchased in my life and I don't like it at all. I don't like how it makes my skin look. It doesn't really do much in terms of keeping my makeup locked down. I normally spritz and then blot it with my beauty blender so to kind of like melt it into the skin. I just don't feel like it gives me what it's marketing as giving people. So my goal for this one is to use it 20 times. I would like ultimately to finish this one off. If you like shake it, I'm about right here. So I'm about halfway through. I don't know how many uses it will take to finish it. So I'm just gonna set my goal at 20 uses and see where that gets us. I know I will be able to knock that one out. I can use this as my daily setting spray for the next month. Will I love it? No, but I wanna get my money's worth out of it and I do wanna finish it and roll it out of my collection entirely. So my goal for this one is to use it 20 times. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you are excited about this project as much as I am. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out any of my panning content. This will be my third panning project for the year. So I'm very excited about that. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it or a thumbs down if you didn't. And with that, I will see you guys all in the next update. Bye friends.